When I was 16, I took an internship at Chase Bank. Yes, that's right, JP Morgan Chase. I was that kid that professionally took people's money. And uh, it was a terribly fun job. Um, and I say that because it was fun. I learned a lot. I learned a lot about finance. I learned a lot about how to take care of your money and how to be an adult uh, when I was still going through puberty, which was um, a very confusing time for everyone involved. Um, however, in that time, I was able to learn a lot and grow a lot. When I turned 20 years old, the branch decided to close. Chase decided they were downsizing in the metropolitan area of Georgia and Atlanta. And uh, my manager approached me and said, hey, listen, we're closing the branch. However, everyone's gonna be leaving this company, but you are entitled to stay. You're allowed to stay. The general manager has offered you a position at another branch. And I remember thinking to myself, holy crap, that's really flattering, but also, holy crap, what do I do next? Because this next moment in my life, this decision that I have can ultimately lead to my demise in the future by staying with this company that I've been with for X amount of years now. Um, but it can also be really rewarding, you know, me, a 20 year old making a salary being uh, promoted to somewhat of a manager. So I remember being really torn about this decision for about two weeks. And uh, I'll never forget going to my mom, who's just like my angel. I've, I always go to her for advice when it comes to big decisions in life. And uh, I asked her, hey mom, listen, I, I don't know what to do with this decision. I can go this way and be secured, but might be bored for the rest of my life. Uh, or I can go this other way that you know is terrifying. And I think every one of us in this room understands that beaten path. It's really scary to go down a road of entrepreneurship, a road that nobody knows what's gonna happen, and the only person you have to rely on is yourself. And I remember my mom looked at me and she said, well, I'm very proud of everything that you have, have done at this age, but you need to do what you love and not what the money says. And to me, that was huge because we all have heard those stories about, you know, doing what you love and being passionate about whatever and don't ever work a day in your life if you love what you do. But when your mom tells you that, it has a whole different connotation. It changes the way you think and it changes the perspective that you have on life. And so for me, from that moment on, I continuously decided that I'm gonna do exactly what I was meant to do, which is not follow that beaten path, but to do what feels right, not what the money says. So lo and behold, just to fast forward, I ended up going to a post, I didn't take the job at Chase, by the way, that's the point of that story. <laughs> and uh, I ended up taking a post-production job as an as a intern editor, uh, I learned a lot of really amazing things and worked under some really great people there. From there I worked at Apple uh, and I was teaching people how to use their Macs, how to edit video, and everything in between. That was really rewarding. And then finally, after a few years at Apple, I decided to leave to start what is now Acosta Productions, which is my current production company. And the irony of this whole situation is now, Apple is my client, which is pretty awesome. So. I know being an entrepreneur and sitting in here and having these dreams and hopes and, and holding on to whatever it is you have and just hoping it all works, I come from that. I've been there, guys. And I have, have been totally terrified, been totally downtrodden, and I've also failed in the past. But that's a whole other story which we'll go into some other time. The point of this is that I'm here to teach you guys something that is really gonna benefit your business and will help you not fail the way that others have done in the past and the way that you might be afraid of failing in the future.